This week we're doing International Players Anthem by UGK, produced by Juicy J and DJ Paul. Now the first time this beat was used was all the way back in 2001 for a Project Pat release called I Choose You. And what was cool about that is that it featured a spoken intro recorded by the artist sampled in the song. Uh, his name was Willie Hutch. He was a Motown singer-songwriter who wrote a lot of songs for artists like the Jackson 5 and for Marvin Gaye, as well as performing a lot of his own songs. So it was cool that he would record something for 3-6 Mafia as a means of sort of giving them his blessing and showing that he really understands what's going on with the whole sampling thing. Now, the song of his sampled for this track is called I Choose You, and it sounds like this. And there's another section sampled from just a little further into the track that sounds like this. And those samples are pretty much untouched. The pitch doesn't change at all, and the tempo only changes very slightly when you bring all those slight variations more in line with the exact tempo grid. And from those two sections of samples, you get three loops. You get your start with the group vocals. You get your first solo vocal riff thing. And then you have another sort of solo vocal section. And those just pretty much play as is. They're just straight loops, generally speaking, except in two places throughout the song. Anytime you hear this vocal section, you hear that first vocal riff twice. And all they did there was they let the original loop play as normal and then went back and added a filtered version with all the low end cutouts so it doesn't mess with anything else right on top. So it ends up sounding like this. And the other variation they introduced was chopping up the horn riff that you hear at the end of those loops. And that ended up sounding like this. The drums in this track are your classic southern 808 drums. You've got your kick, your snare, your hi-hat, and a clap. And while there's nothing really groundbreaking going on, there doesn't have to be. I mean, it sounds good. The way these southern drums work with the Motown sample is really, really classic in my opinion. But I'll go ahead and play the drums by themselves so you can hear how those sound. At one point in the song, the sample drops out and you're left with just the drums and this bass line. Now anytime you hear the sample, the bass you hear is part of that sample, but in this section, there's no sample, it's a bass line that they played, and it's the same bass line from the sample, just played on a sub bass, a real smooth sine wave, uh, and layered in with the drums. And so here is what that sub bass sounds like on top of the drums. So that covers all the elements to this track, and I'll go ahead and play you the finished sequence version in just a minute here, but before I do, I want to remind you, as always, to head over to beatbreakdown.net, where I've got project files for this track, any track I've done in the past, and anything coming up in the future, all available for download in Machine, FL Studio, and Ableton file formats, and I'm still working on getting all the Ableton back catalog going, uh, but there's still a lot to download now. Highly recommend checking those out, and I want to remind you that I've been live streaming both here on YouTube and over at Twitch, username Beat Breakdown over there. Um, live streaming right now, we're doing a lot of the beat critique where people send in their beats and I play them on the stream. I tell you what I think. People in the chat tell you what they think. It's a lot of fun. Uh, people are learning. People are having fun, getting their tracks heard. I, there was a lot of good stuff last week, a lot of stuff I kept listening to. Uh, a lot of people had to go follow on SoundCloud because the tracks were so good. So I highly recommend sending in your tracks there. Or if you just want to come and listen, that's fine too. Uh, that's Wednesday nights at 8 central until about 9.30 or 10. Uh, back on schedule with those. I was out of town for a while, but those are going again. Highly recommend checking those out. And yeah, just go to the website, you know, if, if you're looking for the project files or where to submit your beats, it's all over there. 
Uh, we've got forms. There's a lot of stuff going on over there. So that should be your new homepage is what I'm telling you. Uh, Beatbreakdown.net, new homepage. Who uses a homepage anymore? I don't know, but uh, that covers, that should cover everything. So I'll catch you on the next episode of Beat Breakdown.